$14,000 Funko Pop Vinyl Figures Grail Collection. Oh my god. I bought the largest Funko Pop collection in my life. It's larger than any other. It's probably larger than most of my other collections I've bought in the past combined. I can't even imagine wanting to own one Funko Pop, even if something that I like. I'm seeing stuff here. I see Sheldon Cooper up here, and I think, you know, I love, I love The Big Bang Theory and think it's the most funny show ever made. And I personally identify with Sheldon Cooper on so many levels. I mean, Bazinga, am I right? You know, as a huge major fan of Sheldon Cooper, such that I am, and the Big Bang Theory, um, I, I don't think I'd want to own a, a pop, a, a, a Funko pop. I don't know. I guess at like the beginning of June, I was contacted on Facebook by a guy named Greg. He said that he collected- Can we start? Can we? I know you want to start with the beginning of June, but can we start with whenever you decided to go with the corn broom style of beard? What, what's uh, what's going on here? Why uh, why do you why do you look like a hay bale decided to take a nap on your chin? We're like six minutes in before he gets to anything. Okay, box number one. Six okay, minutes that's... before we get to box number one. Box number one. All right, first we have a Target exclusive Kylo Ren. Next we have Agent Coulson. I don't think I have this one actually, so that's cool. Coulson? I'm actually Are really you excited because really, we have a Peggy Carter. I have this one already though, so I'll be selling it. I have all- My Peggy Carter pop figure. Even Marvel doesn't care about her. Why does Funko? It's a San Diego Comic-Con Metallic Dave, limited to- was Oh it? my God, guys, it's a fucking- 80 bucks? It's a limited edition Funko pop minion. It's a never-ending spiral of depravity and dis disgrace and degeneracy. Oh, okay, next we have the pink Batman from the Rainbow series. On Someday in the future, a sad, sad man will be on his deathbed and he will be thinking of all of the mistakes that he's made in his life. And the chief among them will be having been the guy who decided to make a pink Batman Funko Pop. Oh, there was a pink Batman in some comic somewhere, so we need to make a Funko Pop would have been the thought process at the time. But looking back on his deathbed, a sad, sad old man can only think, dear God, why did I spend all those hours toiling over the pink Batman Funko Pop when I could have gone to little Rasputin's baseball game, you know? And I missed all that time. And I made the pink Batman Funko Pop. <laughs> and now I'm dead. Think about the man who designed the White Lantern Wonder Woman Funko Pop. Guys, F's in chat. Fox One is turning out to be a lot I of- I feel like if- I feel like with each one of these, this man is trying to want- trying to like ask himself how much it was really worth it. He spent over $14,000 on this shit. He's like trying to convince himself. He's like, oh look, it's the it's the White Lantern Wonder Woman, everybody. Yeah, that's a really rare, that's a really rare one. Huh? That's a, it's a really special one. I can't, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't regret, I don't regret owning that one at all. I mean, I mean, it's just $14,000. It's nothing, it's fine. It's fine, that's like the wind that goes away, it's fine. Oh. You know, Ghost Rider I wouldn't buy, but if they they made a Funko Pop of Nicolas Cage, I might buy that. From Beavis and Butthead, we have Beavis. Wasn't that show, I, I never really watched much of it, but wasn't it like some kind of very like anti this kind of stupid shit? You know, stupid, unnecessary, rampant consumerist bullshit? I, I don't know. I feel like that was the whole kind of vibe of like early MTV. Now there's Beavis and Butthead Funko Pops, everybody. Kill us, kill us all. I'm hunting for these rare ones for a good price. So getting them for half value, I'm just oh, so thrilled. Okay. I'm thrilled, guys. I promise I'm thrilled. I'm really thrilled, everybody. I really am because I, I only spent $14,000 on all these useless pieces of fucking junk. I only spent 14000 I could have spent even more. I could have spent 20000 30 You know, I could have bought a whole fucking car or a house. You know, I could have fucking got back together with that slut, Rachel. You fucking whore, how do you like me now? I've got money now, you fucking bitch. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. I've got the Funko Pops. And that's all I need, really. Okay, we have the Snowy Chewbacca from Hoth. It's a GameStop exclusive. Pretty sure I have that oh, one, though. Oh, good. We got the Snowy Chewbacca from Hoth. It's got some little fucking flecks of white on it. Buy our shit. It's different. We promise. 
GameStop exclusive, everybody. Be sure to go to GameStop for your quality fucking action figure based on a fucking movie from the goddamn 70s. Holy shit. Fuck this entire company. It's a tiny little bit of white, you fucking weirdo. We have the unmasked Jason. Holy guacamole. <laughs> wow, if only that thing was in the actual movie, it might actually be fucking terrifying. Uh, okay, we have the see-through bing bong. See-through uh, bing bong. <laughs> Imagine this. Imagine owning this. Imagine paying $14,000 for a bunch of shit and you open a box and you get the see-through bing pong. <laughs> oh God, oh God, I'm laughing because it hurts. Because it hurts on the inside, you know? And that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> the see-through bing pong, everybody. <laughs> awesome. That is a cool pop. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. so awesome, So dude. I think Bing Bong I have already, so I will be selling that one. <laughs> uh, oh, this is cool. We have the reverse flash. 